21, part one. Bongo, I said early that morning, as the last stars faded like weary fireflies. There's something I need you to do. Does it involve potato chips? Bongo mumbled. No, then I'd rather sleep. It's about tomorrow. You promised you'd let me sleep in. I didn't promise. You implied. I want to grant Samar's wish. This roused Bongo. She fluttered down to her favorite branch, the one she nicknamed Home Plate. Bongo likes to watch the kids play softball at the elementary school. Oh, uh, Red, you don't make wishes happen. You're the place where wishes go. You're like, um, like a leafy garbage can in a good way. For 216 rings, I've sat on my roots and listened to people hope for things. And a lot of times those wishes never happened, I'm guessing. Bongo tucked a feather into place. Sometimes that's for the best. Remember that kindergartner who wanted a bulldozer? I'm passive. I just sit here watching the world. You're a tree, Red. That's kind of the job description. This is a good wish, and it's a wish I can make happen, I paused. Well, we can make happen. Yeah, I had a feeling that's where this was going. Bongo glided to the ground. Look, I heard Sumar's wish. How exactly are you going to find her a friend? You'll see, I said, hoping I sounded more confident than I felt. Red, Bongo paced back and forth. With each step, her head bobbed forward. We've got more serious issues, pal. Francesca's talking about turning you into toothpicks. And your residents are frantic about where they're going to move if that happens. She came close and nudged me fondly. Of course they're worried about you, too. I know that. Fresh, fresh baked bread poked her head out from under the porch. It was barely dawn, and only the white stripe running the length of her face was clearly visible. I've offered to take in one of the tree families temporarily, she announced. Preferably the opossums. They're better behaved than the ewes. That's very, ger very generous of you, Fresh, I said, but I was interrupted by Big U, the mother of the three raccoon babies. She was in my large hollow, grumbling under her breath. I beg your pardon, she exclaimed. You, you, and you have excellent manners. They're too inquisitive, said Fresh Baked Bread, always poking their noses where they shouldn't be, grabbing things with those little paws of theirs. Well, at least they don't stink, Big U cried, and your children have paws, last time I checked.